everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi and this is Yadi Angel Art. Today, I'll be sharing my favorite watercolor art supplies under $25. You might recognize a few of these items from my first favorite art supplies video, but most of these are new supplies I've recently tried out and really love. Let's get started! So first, we'll be looking at art supplies that fall under the $5 category. So the first thing we're going to look at are these, wait, let me, let me try to look at yes, there. <laughs> first thing we're going to look at are these Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. Uh, now I'm not sure if I pronounced any of that correctly, but I will also uh, put a link to all of these art supplies in the description box below. Now these two colors that I really like to use are Cobalt Green. Uh, it's too shiny to show you. Cobalt Green and then Pink Matter Lake. And I really like to use these as sort of like an under painting sketch. They kind of bring a bit more color into the sketch than if I were to use like my normal graphite pencil. And I really like the way that my paintings come out when I use these. And the next thing I'm going to show you is this plastic eraser that actually erases colored pencils. Now when I first came across this, I had no idea that this was even like a thing. <laughs> so when I first used it and it actually erased these pencils, I was like, what? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so I love this eraser. It's perfect for these two pencils. And yeah, I definitely recommend. Now the next few things we're gonna I'm gonna show you are these finder clips. You can find them pretty much in any office store, office supply store, and I actually can't find the proper link to these. I got them from Target. I can't find the exact link to these. I don't think they sell them in this color anymore. But I will link these other cute ones from the same brand that I'm honestly considering getting because they are really cute. <laughs> And then the final thing we're going to look at in this category is this Hannah Mule Agave watercolor book. It's super cute and tiny and it's great for traveling and it's also really great because it is affordable for the quality of paper that you really get. It's very thick. It's like very much official watercolor paper. So yeah, I love this thing. It's really cute. Ah, okay. I almost forgot. <laughs> This is a water bottle spritzer. I got it in the <laughs> travel section at my local Target. It was like 99 cents. Um, <laughs> I love it. It's great for travel, but it's also really great if you don't have like a lot of desk space or a lot of space to paint. This takes up like hardly any space at all. Yep, yeah, it's great. Okay, moving on to the next phase we'll talk about art supplies that are under $15. First thing I'll talk about with you guys is my handy dandy sketchbook. I love this thing. I, you've probably seen it like multiple times. If you've seen any of my other videos, it's the perfect size for me to fit into like my small go-to purse. And it's also just strong enough to hold like a bit of water color and water and so I can get some really fun sketches onto here without like the stress of completing something perfectly yeah I love this thing next we'll talk about these watercolor pencils they're really great Stetler I think is the way you pronounce that brand uh, they're a pretty good brand and these in particular were actually like not too expensive, which is why I was really excited to get them. And also, whoops, also they're triangular. Can you see that kind of? So whenever I put it down, ah, it stays in place. I love this. <laughs> Next thing we'll talk about is my favorite watercolor paper. This is my go-to paper for any like official paintings I want to do. I'm not like very big on like super large paintings. Those are kind of intimidating for me. So this is like the perfect size. It's just a six by eight. 
and I've talked about this paper before. It's really awesome. It's like glued on the two sides so that there's less warping when you paint. And yeah, I find it's really good quality paper for what I need it to do. And next we'll talk about this Artessa Half Pan watercolor set. Came with a cute little swatch card. And it actually came with this brush. So if you're looking for a nice affordable set to give to someone or to have for yourself, especially for somebody starting out in watercolors, this is a really great starter set. All you really have to think about is like getting the person some watercolor paper if you were like get this whole thing. And yeah, they make some really good paints. The one thing I don't love is that this doesn't fit in there. Um, so it does have to come separately, but I mean, it's still pretty small. So that's not the worst thing. Technically, this is the only thing that's not like quite an art supply, but I used the heck out of it and it was really helpful for me. So this might be helpful for some of you guys too. It is a, ooh, ah, it's a watercolor book uh, to talk you through like all sorts of beginner friendly things information on this book is too big for this information on like brushes and different strokes and adding like different amounts of water this is a page on three properties of color and it also has a segment on brush lettering which i really love uh these are all my practice sheets i actually discovered that i like doing brush lettering because of this book and one other reason that i thought this book was really awesome to find is that at the back you can see I used it a lot by all the like little notes that I saved. But in the back, you can find a bunch of projects that it walks you through step by step. And some watercolor props to do for a full year. So yeah, really helpful book. I highly recommend for anybody who doesn't know quite where to start and would like to have like a comprehensive place with a lot of awesome beginner friendly information in like one spot <laughs> okay and the final section that we will go over today is art supplies under $25 okay you guys have heard me mention these before they are my favorite go-to watercolor brushes they are the velvet touch brush set and they're very much worth the money, I think. They're just amazing. They feel really nice and soft and um, they just paint really well and soak up really well the watercolors and stuff. So yeah, highly recommend. And our two main parts of this segment are my Van Gogh Vibrant Colors watercolor travel set. It's really great. It comes with 12 colors and it comes with its own little brush that you take out and you form it like this. And one really awesome subscriber actually mentioned to me, uh, <laughs> cause, okay, so I have actually a video where I swatch all of these paints and uh, kind of review this paint set. And I mentioned in that video that I hate how sharp this is. It kept kind of like jabbing into me when I was like painting and I couldn't understand why they would make it so sharp. <laughs> and my uh, this one subscriber was really awesome and nice and mentioned that the reason that it's shaped like this is to do this. Oh my god, <laughs> it, it basically it helps take out this extra palette piece so that you have a whole bunch of extra mixing space. So I knew this came out, but um, I have a lot of videos of me just struggling to open it. So this makes it a whole lot easier. Um, so now it makes sense why they made it so sharp. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this set. The paints are very vibrant and beautiful. and. I just, I love going back to this set to just like paint very vibrant colors. And the next set we're going to talk about is also one of my main go-tos. 
It's the Koritake watercolor travel set. It looks like this. I love this for many reasons. You can already see I'm like reaching the end of some of these, so that kind of sucks. But this came with a watercolor brush and a pen. So that's really cool, especially because it all just fits like perfectly in here. I love that. And it also comes with plenty of, you know, painting space, but it also kind of takes up very little space. So it's like perfect for traveling in my opinion. And then these paints all come out really easily. I can just slide it and pull this out. I love that. It's like, it really helps me out for honestly taking uh, thumbnail photos for YouTube. <laughs> and it's probably also really helpful for whenever I have to do refills and stuff. Yeah, I think it's one of the best built travel cases I've ever had. And I really love the colors. They're very like bright and saturated and they just all work really well together. I got, I've gotten like a good mix, I think here of like warm and cool primary colors. So I get a lot of cool shades mixed out from this set. Now, that was everything in my under $25 segment, but I thought as a little bonus, I would show you guys one more thing. And that is my Mondo Llama watercolor art kit. Now this kit comes with all two watercolors. How many was it? Like, I think 12? Yeah. Okay, this kit comes with 12 tubed watercolors and it also comes with a set of really good working brushes, a pencil, a sharpener, an eraser, and it comes with this cute little plastic tray to put all of your colors on. So all you really need from this set is a paper, <laughs> is paper to get started. Uh, so this set makes like an awesome gift to someone who's starting out with watercolors or who's a beginner, doesn't know where to start, then this gives them like everything they could possibly need to start aside from the paper. And the reason I kept this a little separate from the previous segment is because this is technically $25, so it's not under $25. But I think for everything that you get and the quality of, col of the colors that I've seen, this makes a really cool set to give to somebody. Okay, so that is everything I have to show you for today. What do you guys think? What's your favorite watercolor art supply? Did any of these supplies make it onto your wish list for the holidays coming up? <laughs> If you want to see more of my other favorite watercolor art supplies, you should totally check out this other video I made. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you had a good time, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next Saturday for the next one. Bye!